All right, good afternoon. So a short update. We got the uh, new old rebuilt 84 year, uh, 80 model year 84 pump, hydraulic pump in the car. And I replaced the low pressure fuel hose and you can see this on the right one. This is what I had in there. And on the left, that's the one from Mercedes-Benz. And I just got this. And you can see the difference is this is an aftermarket one and that started to leak because the compressor, the AC compressor is right underneath it and the heat rises right up here to this part and it will dribble out here. This is why you need to get the Mercedes-Benz hose, which has a woven fabric around the rubber to protect it from the heat from the air conditioner. And this is now here, the pump, my original pump. And I wanted to show you this. You see, we turn this on. See, we're measuring here on that lower part, which sits in that oil light bushing, 14.87. And the tool is 15 millimeters minus 0 0.03 millimeter to minus 0 0.05 millimeters so that will get you to 14.95 and you can see this if i place this here in that oil light bushing we don't have a lot of play at all so it is actually the shaft which is worn out and it has worn down to 14.87, so that is 0 0.08 millimeters below the minimum of what they require. So that part is completely worn out, which renders this pump at the moment useless because I have to basically oversize the oil light bushing and then we have to press it out and uh, machine it and hone it and polish it to this to fit the worn out part. And the same is with the oil light bushing, which goes over here. So it is the shaft which has actually worn out. And um, so I'm gonna put that pump on hold for the moment and see what Martin can do down on his machine shop. Um, the other pump, like I said, is installed. And I changed, I haven't changed the high pressure hose yet because there is a holder bracket right about here behind the water pump. You cannot get there until you move the powder pump. So when I change the water pump, I will update this hose here. Um, so that's on hold for the moment. And I'm not gonna put any heavy weight in the trunk then because I don't wanna strain the old hose since I got that pump now rebuilt. But um, that's basically it here for today. We got the pump in there. The pump is not leaking. And I'm happy with this and we will see what we're going to do with the original pump. Have a great weekend.